Hi everyone, today I'll be reviewing my new Desiderata fountain pen. It's called the uh, BMMF. I'm sure you know what it means. I can't say it out loud. My dad watches my YouTube. Hi dad. Um, it's it's sold out so fast. I, I got it um, like the moment I saw it on a on the website, but I think um, he might come up with more releases. So you see it's a beautiful pen. It just arrived. And what's special about it is the engraving right there. Yeah, that's why I need it. <laughs> so, um, I haven't inked it, but I'll be doing that in this video. So, there it is. It's gorgeous. It's a little brighter in um, the website, but from what we can see, it's a little darker at least for me. Um, it's more like a burgundy color and it unscrews here I'm gonna take this away to reveal that so to be honest um, I'm not much of a fountain pen person uh -huh. but when it was closed it's so flush I didn't even realize that this is um, Openable. I thought it opens from here and I was going crazy <laughs> trying to figure it out and then I saw uh, The website and I realized oh it opens right there. So that, that goes to show how uh, How flush it is. It feels so it feels great um, This pen cost about $150 and including shipping to me in this in um, the US. It's about 100 64 so it's not a cheap pen but i like it um pierre did mention he called me up and he said that there is a little uh notch here and he was like he's you know he was so nice he's like are you are you, are you okay with that you know and here <laughs> are you okay with that and i said i don't care you know because bamfs need scars right so that's my reasoning that I don't mind having these scars on my awesome pen. So, um, he did say that he threw in a red feed for me, so my feed matches the pen, so I think it works out. All right, so let's ink it. I'm gonna use, obviously, a red Momiji pen, uh, Momiji ink by Eroshizuku. And uh, I actually printed out instructions because Pierre, the maker of Desiderata, he sends these novel-like instruction manuals and I just don't read them. <laughs> but I have this that pertains to what we're doing. So, okay, unscrew the blind cap. I'm pretty sure that's the blind cap, right? No, wait, no. This is the blind cap. Okay, so I'm not much of a fountain pen person. I love fountain pens, but uh, I'm not... That much into it so immerse the nib end of the pen to ink okay so that's our ink immerse the nib end up to and covering the front of the section so no air can sneak into the pen while you're trying to fill it all right got it so he says to do this all the way in got that Quickly depress and release the button. Alright. Hop, hop. Kick, kicking air out of front end, you should see bubbles shooting out when you do this. I didn't see any bubbles, but uh, whatever. Wait a second between pumps and repeat until no further bubbles appear. I'm like super nervous, I don't know why. Oh, see, I see bubbles. Okay. I'm nervous because I know. Pierre is watching this video and he'll be like screaming his head off right now going, No, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but this is an honest review from an honest person. Okay, that sounds good, huh? Oh, I was supposed to wait a second between pumps. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, that looks good to me. Do you think? Um, fine, that's fine. Put 
the cap on the ink bottle. All right, God, oh my God, calm down, Jesus. Put the cap on the ink bottle. All right, all right, all right, all right, Jesus. Okay, so wipe off the end of the pen. Well, I did that first. Replace the blind cap. Oh, okay, we should be ready. Minimum, ah, man, crap. I thought I didn't get any ink on myself. You always get ink on yourself when you fill a fountain pen. It's like, it's just gotta happen. All right. Oh, and step seven, watch this video. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go watch the video. <laughs> I think I know why it didn't work. <laughs> because it was a new nib and I didn't clean it. Um, duh, I feel so dumb. Um, so with nibs, you're supposed to clean them before you use them. So this is like right out of the box and I didn't clean it. Uh, Pierre is probably screaming at me right now. Um, yeah, so with calligraphy nibs, you're supposed to like clean it off from the factory oils. And I didn't do that, so you should probably do that before before you use this pen, which I didn't. So, whatever. I think in time, it will start to uh, flow better. Okay, it's flowing a lot better now. This is fun. So what I did was I just took some tissues and rubbed it a couple times to uh, clean it. Um, and I did do the uh, you know the pump stuff a little bit. So I think it just needs a bit of um, a bit of adjusting. But now I think it's working great. I'm so not used to straight pants. I just, oh man, it drives me crazy. It's modern calligraphy. <laughs> I'm not used to that either. I'm full of excuses. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna try and write bigger. Now that's really impressive because um, the nib uh, gets its ink from the feed and the problem with a lot of these pens sometimes is that it takes a long time for the nib, uh, for the feed to be filled with ink so a lot of railroading happens um, which is stuff like that you know that that happens a lot with like the previous pens I've tried it was really annoying but this is great because I can just like press real hard and the ink fills up perfectly so that's a great um, progress so this is actually my first there is a desiderata pen for like years I have the like the very first model and I have the review on my YouTube somewhere um, I like it but I wasn't like the biggest fan of it because of the problem I was just telling you about so um, I didn't buy um, this pen for like quite a while until that's a C crap no uh, Ah, I was talking until <laughs> uh, he came up with this pen with my name on it so um, I have to buy it but I was like mm, I don't know about the feed so I'm pleasantly surprised that this is working out so whenever like something like that happens you know I don't really lose my mind I just like flick it get some ink who cares and that will re-wet the feed because um, if you like stop using it at least um, this is what I think the uh, the nib will stop I mean the ink will stop flowing and it dries up that's how it works in uh, calligraphy pens so I'm just not I'm just not used to leaving pens out in the open without dipping in water <laughs> If you are a calligrapher and you want this pen, or you're thinking of getting this pen, I say go for it, I think it's great. Uh, it uses a Zebra G nib, so if you're used to Zebra G nibs, it's perfect. Um, it is straight, obviously it's a straight holder, and I'm used to oblique holders, so it's a bit of a learning curve for me. but. If you have the money to burn, you know, you can you can get it. I think it's great. Whoops. Um, this one's sold out, I think I mentioned. But he has other pens on his website. Oh, why do my D's suck? This is always the worst. Bad donkey. like that
letters and hyphen right there. Did you see that? Sorry, I sprayed everywhere. Again. So, uh, great. I love this pen. Um, would I buy it again? Sure. 150 uh, It's a bit expensive, but I like how it's, uh, it's like a portable calligraphy pen. And you can tell that the nib is properly um, prepped because you can see how the ink is covering all of the nib. You know, remember like before this, the ink was like pulling up that means there's oil in it but now it's proper red i like to think it's blood you know because that's what we are uh thanks for watching um uh i hope that you enjoyed this video and um i'm sorry for all the uh, language <laughs> bye bye